Hello, I'm Andy, and let's talk about the Rows of Sharon behind me. Give you some thoughts about care, pruning, transplanting. Uh, a lot of today's video is going to be kind of a follow-up from last winter. I went and took this bush behind me. Uh, it was in a real healthy spot, but some plans that were going on here in the backyard, I wanted to move it. So I did a transplant video, and I also did a pruning video to kind of show you how I go about that and just some uh, tips along uh, the way of uh, how you kind of uh, hopefully transplant and move that bush and get it all kind of ready to go. So this is that bush, but I wanted to show you it today because this is kind of the follow-up. Sometimes it's nice to see, uh, did it actually turn out like uh, was said in the video? Well, this Rose of Sharon behind me, all I have done this summer pretty much is water it. Uh, I think I've twice I have fertilized it and it's done super well. You can see me behind me. Um, this thing is probably, oh, it's starting to hit around the five foot mark uh, as far as the height. Um, about five feet, six feet wide. Lots of flowers. It's been flowering for four to six weeks, doing really well. And uh, it's not a very difficult plant to take care of. So uh, let me take you back. We'll show you some footage of the previous um, kind of the situation, what was going on. If you've already seen those videos, you can skip ahead on parts you're not interested in. But uh, hopefully this is helpful for care, uh, transplanting, and pruning of a Rose of Sharon. Enjoy today's video. All right, we're going to start with going back and showing you some of the shots of what this thing looked like before the transplanting. I'll give you a little bit of a kind of a quick shot of how things went about. And then let me just comment about some of the things I learned along the way. So this is some footage from last winter when I transplanted it and also pruned it. So you can kind of see the uh, result of how we got to where we are now. But uh, dug a nice size root ball around it. I had actually cut back some of these branches, I think, to just to make it a little bit more manageable for moving. Um, had a pretty good hunch I'd break some as I moved it along the way, so I had a little bit more pruning to do afterwards. But uh, picked up the root ball, moved it about 30 feet over to my new location, and then uh, filled it in back with some, uh, some of the soil that was there as well, just made sure it was you know good soil. Uh, and then give it a really heavy watering. Uh, from there, I went back and did a little bit of a pruning, um, kind of here to the shape, just to fit the spot it was at. Uh, some old growth uh, where that moss was at, I wanted to get rid of that. Um, over time, I might cut those back a bit. It's, it's still growing great, but I'm always concerned about uh, thick moss on old wood and uh, just uh, how it'll be. But uh, fit it to place, have some of uh, the newer growth that's still on there, but cut it back to a, a manageable size. And then, as you'll see in a moment, um, this thing took off and has done fabulous. Uh, some of the, uh, the new growth is just uh, remarkable how quickly it recovered. So uh, definitely you can do a lot with this kind of bush. Let's go back to today and see what it looks like. So this is this Rose of Sharon. And you can see still lots and lots of flowers are just going and they just go continually. You can see these little uh, balls that uh, will become the flowers as they get a little bit bigger and uh, those buds are just about to burst all over the place. Uh, you've got old ones, they kind of fall fall down to the side and you can see underneath. Uh, in fact, uh, I take my blower about once every couple weeks and just do a little blow off and get those out of there, but uh, you can leave them, they'll uh, compose, um, compost, they'll decompose and uh, be great. You know, as far as the pruning, you can see here, uh, you know, there's a, currently a bare spot there, but uh, there'll be a branch that'll kick out Super healthy. In fact, down here you can see this is one of those branches that I cut back quite a bit. There was the cut there and it's got new growth. Um, there's a new growth starting down there. Just a beautiful flower. Just to kind of show you how the progression goes, you got the bud there. They start opening up and you can see um, those flowers as they're just about to burst. And then when they fully open up, you can get that just beautiful red inside. And uh, just a beautiful flower. So as you can see from the Rose of Sharon here, uh, these things can take a, quite a heavy pruning if you need to cut them back, um, kind of bring the shape back in, and they will come back no problem at all. You could probably even go further, deeper, uh, lower than what I did there. Uh, but you know, flowers all over this thing, beautiful greenery, and uh, it'll, it'll do well in the summer. It might take a couple months to kind of get to this spot from where it might be if it was established, but uh, from what you can see here, and uh, just what I've enjoyed throughout the summer, uh, not too difficult. So keep these things well watered through the summer. Uh, this is in a pretty good sunspot. I have a daily drip system that a uh, little timer that goes off and gives it oh probably about eight minutes of water per day, a uh, little drip nozzle. And then um, I fertilized it twice over the summer, once in the spring and then uh, once in, uh, I think it was uh, mid July and uh, it's early September here and still doing really well. And uh, probably in the next few weeks as the temperatures start turning, we'll see this thing start slowing down its growth and uh, getting ready for winter time. But uh, hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, put those in the, in the comments down below and uh, we'll have some more videos for you in the future. 
have a good life.